Hey Gemini Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you have been here before, thank you so much for joining me and joining me again. I hope y'all are doing amazing. Let's get this reading done. We're using the um, What's the Tea, What's the Vibe decks. I'm using two. And then I am also want to clarify with the Evil Eye Oracle. Um, let's get into it though. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the rose if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy or something else around you I'm picking up on. Let's get the what's the tea, what's the void. What's going on with Gemini? We have a spiritual hater. Hates on your spiritual light and magic or power. Some of you could be light workers, you could be um tarot readers into divination yourself, or you're just highly intuitive, very spiritual. You have gifts, and this person is jealous of them. Let me tell y'all, I have experienced that. Um, it's weird, it's very weird, it's giving weird. It's giving very weird. We have moving on. Thank you. Next. Okay, so let me put these cards in the camera because I'll be wanting to get sometimes I'll be moving so fast. And then when I go to edit, I'm like, damn, I can't get a, a thumbnail if I want it. Want to keep my hands moving too fast. Okay, so this is somebody that I feel like you're not dealing with. Why when I'm looking at these guys or these people? I don't know if they're guys. They look like guys riding these bikes. I'm hearing ET phone home. <laughs> Y'all know how he was riding with E.T. in his basket, the little boy on the movie. So I'm getting like, you know, E.T. was extraterrestrial, obviously, right? So for some of you, you truly are like light workers. You're highly intuitive, spiritual people. And I feel like you're you're listening to your intuition. Um, some of you could be on the uh, Cancer Gemini cusp. What is it? Gemini Cancer? Gemini Cancer cusp. Because when I see thank you next, I think of Ariana Grande. Okay, so yeah, let's keep moving. Wants you back. So someone wants you back. But you said thank you next, baby. I'm moving on. I'm not interested. Your intuition is telling you, has told you it's time to release. I feel like you already released this person. Threatening, intimidating, threatened, and bothered. So somebody is, is dangerous here. He putting a a G-U-N and his, um, I don't know, his, his waistband. So some of you need to watch out for this person. They might be really dangerous. I just heard armed and dangerous. And we have unfazed because you don't care. It's the fact that you have pulled your energy back from somebody. It's like if I can't have you, nobody can. I don't like that energy at all. So we definitely going to pull some evil eye oracle for you. Because what? Show me spiritual hater. Who is the spiritual hater and why? Low self-esteem, their envy and inferior towards you stems from deep-rooted childhood wounds, whoever this person is. Mm. And it's funny because because the one particular person that comes to mind in my life that, that is a spiritual hater, and it, it's insane to me because I'm like, I'm not incompetent. I do not compete with other people. I don't have time. My life is full. I don't have time to compete with anybody. So when people do that with me, and I'm intuitive, so I know when they're doing it, obviously most of us know because it's usually very obvious when people are doing some shady stuff or they make like <clears throat> give you backhanded compliments and things like that like i can't help that i have a gift and you have gifts too why don't you tap into your gifts and get up off of mine because i'm not competing with you for your gifts i can give people credit for whatever they do i love seeing people showcase their talents and their gifts but you got people who just don't know how to they either don't like sharing the spotlight or they hate that you are in the spotlight okay Show me moving on. So this person got low self-esteem. This could be a Capricorn. Could be a Leo. Okay, moving on. Thank you, next. It's causing you to feel lightheaded and severe headaches and migraines. So if you're getting a lot of dizziness and headaches and things like that, it's because of this person. They're sending this energy to you. So do your return to senders. Increase your spiritual protection. Block this energy out. Banish it. That's what I will tell you. Maybe you'll get some encouragement through the cards of what you need to use. Because there are certain um, herbs and things like that in here. What's wants you back? Tap into your intuition. You already know who the person is. <laughs> so you already know. I told you you're highly intuitive. I've been telling you that since I started your reading with Spiritual Hater. Yeah. Interesting. Show me threatening. So you, you're going to know. You already know. Who this person is threatening is when she hits the fan this person will go so this is the person that's been in and out of your life hot and cold inconsistent could be another gemini 
bottom of the deck on phase is Palo Santo. Okay, so this is Palo Santo. I don't know how you pronounce it. I think it's Palo Santo. Smooth, spicy aroma clears out negative energies and instills calm and relaxation, fills your home with joy and harmony. So for some of y'all, y'all need to get some Palo Santo. You know, I see these kind of things. Look at this root work. Seek someone to help you with a protection spell. I told you you need to increase your spiritual protection and practice a return to send a protection ritual. I just told you that. This is what you need to do because some of you, you're really unbothered. But this person is really hurting in their ego. And look, we got the narcissist card too. So whoever this person is, I'm getting a strong Capricorn for some of y'all or Leo. A strong Leo or Capricorn. And it's the fact y'all know Gemini, y'all can be very unfazed. At least y'all can be that way on the surface. I tend to think Geminis suppress their feelings and emotions. They're there, but y'all know how to push them down and act like they don't exist. And that can catch up to y'all. Because I know a lot of Geminis who worry a lot. They're like overthinkers and obsessive. And I'm a, a, my a Mercury replacement is Gemini. So I definitely relate. Yeah. Because I can put on a brave face. And I mean, truthfully, a big part of me does mean I don't give a damn. But there is another part of me that does feel like, especially if somebody wronged me, I might want to get a little vengeance on that act. <laughs> Let me get some tarot cards for you. And then I pull some love card um, messages. I just want three. I think this is more than three. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. This is this person wanting you back. Could be a Scorpio. And we have the chariot. So you're moving on. It says, thank you, next. This is you moving forward. Definitely very balanced right now. Divine masculine, divine feminine energy and balance. I feel like this is what's attracting this person to you because you are so strong, determined. Okay, you're focused. And then we have the knight of cups with the page of wands. This is somebody here who still wants you. They want to reach out to you. They want to ask you out. They want to spend some time with you. But for some of you, this person really could have broken your heart. But I'm seeing possibly a message coming from this person asking you out, believe it or not. Let's get some um, messages. Just three. Three messages for my Gemini Collective. Um, I just want to look at these cards for a minute, y'all. So this is the hopeless romantic, whoever this person is. You know what's wrong with them? Gemini, this person, they fall in and out of love very quickly. Remember I told you they could be in and out, hot and cold, inconsistent. Yeah, it says they will ghost because the, the Knight of Cups can be like a love bomber. Um, he's the kind of person that can fall in and out of love very quickly. I want to let you in, but I can't. That could be you. I want to take you out on a date. Didn't I just tell you the Knight of Cups? This is somebody that wants to take you out. Can I take you out tonight? Who was before you? Capricorn. This could be a Capricorn. I really feel like that or Leo, but... Capricorn almost got that card. In fact, Capricorn got the other side of that card. And they're reading. Okay. Yep. But I'm seeing a message, a flirty text or something coming from this person trying to hump on you. <laughs> but you're moving forward. You could have even moved. You could be at a distance from this person now. Or you're traveling. You're making your dreams a reality. You focus on bigger and better. I'm 100% dedicated to my career. What did I say? <laughs> I have so many other people dependent on me. I wouldn't be a good partner at this time. So your focus is not on them. But this person wants you to know they still cry over your breakup sometimes. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Those are your messages. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. See y'all next time. Peace.